All right, folks, we have here a V, uh, a Frontier V4. So this power chair is got four wheel. This is an extreme power chair. What I mean by extreme, it's got this extreme suspension, extreme motors, just like extreme tires. It's just an extreme power chair. So if you're looking for a power chair that will go in the yard because your chair does not go in the yard, this one will go through the yard with no problem. It'll go in the woods, it'll go on trails. It's just set up for, uh, it's really not an inside chair. It's gonna be too noisy, too fast. It's got a lot of torque. It has two motors on this power chair. They're 800 watt per motor. That's 1600 watts of power between the two motors on this chair. This is called a rear wheel drive chair. So the drive wheels are in the back and the motors are in the back also. These are your drive wheels. These are low pressure tires. You can see when I push on here and they're knobby. So they're good for the yard. They're good for any type of condition where you need more traction, okay? So again, this is the V4 Frontier V4 power chair with two motors, 800 watts per motor of power and torque. Just a fantastic power chair. This power chair has got electric tilt and electric recline two electrical functions okay it's practically brand new i don't think this chair was used more than six months maybe less than six months it looks brand spanking new so maybe it wasn't new we can't tell that's how new it looks um, so to make the seat tilt the first thing you have to do is go to your joystick there's a button that says mode so if you hit the mode button and all of a sudden you'll have a, a picture of a chair on here and when the bottom and the back is blinking orange that means it's in a position to go back. So now you use your joystick and go back and you can see the tilt is going back right now. This is called the electric tilt. So because the base is going back, of course it's going to take the leg, it's going to take the back as they're all connected together. This is called your electric tilt. And this chair will still drive with the, with the seat elevated. So as you can see, so if you're going down a steep hill and you want to be tilted back, you can drive this chair down the hill without feeling like you're coming out of it. So I'm going to keep going with the tilt until we go all the way back, see how far it'll go. This is called the electric tilt. So we're all the way back tilted. We're going to bring the tilt back down. Now the joystick is on the right hand side on this chair. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side with no problem at all, okay? So let me bring this seat back down. There we go. Now, the next feature, I'm going to move the joystick sideways and change the color from yellow back and bottom to just back. So by moving this sideways, now the back is yellow on the picture. And now, you can see, you can see the back going back. This is called the electric recline. I just want to see how far the back's going to go. So this is your electric recline. Pretty far back. There we go. So we're fully reclined. Okay. So let's bring the recline back up. Let's talk about the rest. While the back's coming back up, let's talk about the chair. You've got arm support. So if you're pushing down these arms, you've got arm supports right here and all that. So if you also want to move the arm up, because you, if you had to transfer from the side and you wanted to move the arm up, you could just move them up this way and transfer from the side. Okay. Then I'm going to lock it back here and then we're going to keep bringing the seat back forward. There we go. Okay, now that's that. Let's just bring the chair forward. Let me put it back in drive. Now, this chair has a top speed of 6.2 miles an hour, so it's a pretty fast power chair. But let's look at the base real quick. You can see the front wheels. You can see when I lift, I can lift that front wheel. You can see the suspension right here. Actually, it's pretty stiff. But you can see the front wheel is barely touching the ground which is normal. When you're sitting in the chair, it'll be on the ground. So you can see the heavy duty suspension right here that can be adjusted right here by turning this ring. You have an anchor point here where you can secure your chair here. There's one behind the wheel. So if you transport this chair, there's one here, one in the back. There's a total of four of these anchor points. Okay. 
You've got the solid tires in the front. They're like eight, in, eight inches solid tires. You've got the big fat air tires back here, low pressure tires. If I were to put this chair in neutral right now, I'd, I couldn't do it because it's in gear. But if you turn the power off, and right here you can see the, the red lever. If I push it down, it unlocks my wheel. So just push it back up and your wheel, your chair is back in gear. So if you have to do both levers on both sides, drop them down. That's how you would put the chair in neutral, okay? You can see how solid that frame is, that thick of a frame and all that kind of good stuff. Let's turn the power back on. Let's look at the front of the chair. This foot plate here, I'm standing on it right now, I'm 180 pounds, so you can see, uh, you can step on it and get into your chair. It does not flip up, okay, it's fixed to the, it always stays down, okay. You have headlights, so if we show you that right now, you can see you have headlights in the front and you have the same lights, same lights in the back and you also have flashers for this side, flashers for that side. And while we're at it, let's look at the back of the chair. You can see the suspension back here also, back there, and you have a wheelie bar here for some of you who do too much, <laughs> just to keep you from getting hurt. You have a wheelie bar there. Here's one of your batteries. There's also a second battery towards the front, all the way to the chairs towards the back, okay? So you have two large batteries in here that will carry you around for a good distance, okay? You can see the anchor point right here on both sides in the back of that chair. You can just see this is not your typical uh, grandma's power chair. This is an active extreme power chair we have here. Let's bring it over here. The seat on this chair right now is 18 wide by 20 deep, but we can put a, a 20, 22 inch seat on here because the pan, there's plenty of room left between the arms, so we could put a bigger, wider seat. But right now it's 18 by 20 deep, okay? The cushion can be taken off, and you can put your own, you can put your own cushion on here, okay? As I said, we can put a wider cushion if we have to. You have a safety belt. Now, the back on this chair is a real wide back, okay? This is a contoured back. This is a custom back. I'd like to keep it this way, so whoever gets this chair, you'll have a wing contour, which that means it keeps you inside the middle of the chair right here. You can see the, it's about that wide, the wings, okay? The only thing I've noticed is when you raise the arm up on the chair, because the wings are so large, it does hit the arm as you're going up, so hopefully, if you don't have to raise the arms, you would have a really, really nice back rest right here, okay? Real large. You have an adjustable headrest here. This headrest is adjustable also in and out, I'm pretty sure. Let's turn the lights off. So if we look in here, yeah, so this headrest is adjustable. You have an adjustment here. You can flip it in so we can go from this to this. Fully adjustable headrest. It is removable. When you charge this chair, you'll take your, per your charger right here and you'll plug it right below your joystick right here. And as soon as the light turns green, steady green, you're fully charged. This is a heavy duty chair, heavy duty charger. This charger probably weighs 20 pounds, but Everything you're getting with this chair is going to be very heavy duty. And when you watch the video outside, you'll see how much fun that chair is and how much it can go through the yard with no issues at all. So this chair, again, let's recap. This is the V4 Frontier power chair. This power chair is for an active person. It's really an outside chair. You can use it inside. It's going to be a little bit noisy. But it's just, a, if you need a second chair, you want to go through some stuff you're not able to do with your other chair, this will be a good one. This is a rear wheel drive, so it only has four wheel. That's why they have the wheels in the back. Two motors, 800 watt motors each side. So it gives you so much power, it's unbelievable. It's got the electric tilt, the electric recline. It has the drain cup holder. It has a full lighting package. The suspension we talked about earlier 
and the fixed foot plate. So if you're looking for a really nice power chair and you have fun, I would definitely look at this one. This is a, this is a fun chair, folks. All that noise you hear, there's a bunch of acorns on the ground here that fell off this tree right here. 6.2 miles an hour top speed. It's really like a Ferrari. It, it has a lot of, uh, if I take off with it, you can see the front wheels raise up off the ground a little bit. So this chair will have no problem in this grass. We'll also take it in my ditch over here and uh, it, it, it should be really good. We're gonna take it in for a good ride here. But as I said, this is the uh, V4 Frontier power chair, practically brand new. It has the headlights, the tilt, the electric uh, recline. Uh, I have it tilted back a little bit right now so the foot plate is off the ground more. So if we go out in the yard, we're not gonna scrape any dirt. But uh, let's go try it out. So this is, this is nothing for this chair. But we're going to take it over here in the ditch, which is a little better idea. So there's a lot of root here and we're about three, we have a three foot incline in this ditch right here. So, but now I'm going to come up, you can see I'm going to come up with it right over here. So as you can see, plenty of power. So um, it actually has more power than you need. Um, just a great power chair. So if you're looking for an extreme power chair, this would be a really nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.